for the first time in about three years, I got to properly get some use out of my favorite bit of filmmaking grip equipment, a 14 foot camera crane or camera jib as they're otherwise known. A jib is basically a seesaw mechanism with your camera on one end and a counterweight on the other, with the camera being on the longer end. It allows you to get shots that you wouldn't normally be able to get any other way. Even during a time where drones are so easily accessible, they're rock sturdy, they're completely silent, meaning you can record dialogue. You can put your professional camera on the end of it so you're not dependent on a small camera with a tiny sensor to capture your footage. They can be used indoors, outdoors, they can mimic slider or dolly-like shots and you don't need a license to be able to operate one. There are literally hundreds of different brands of jibs and camera cranes out there and many different designs, but really there are three main types. The conventional jib, the scissor crane, and a design known best as the techno crane. The scissor crane uses a scissor mechanism to be able to extend and contract the crane. The benefit of this crane compared to the conventional jib is that you can achieve an extra dimension of movement. The benefit of this over a techno crane is that it's completely mechanical, uh, meaning that there's no electronics. The operator controls the extension of the arm by either moving it forwards or backwards. The downside though is that the scissor mechanism causes the crane to be quite unstable. There's quite a bit of wobble and generally speaking it's not as sturdy as a conventional jib. The techno crane or designs like the techno crane are able to telescope in and out with precision and smoothness. This is the most versatile and widely used crane out there out of the three on high budget productions and the price reflects that. In this video I'm just going to be focusing on the moves that are achievable with a conventional jib and some of the most popular crane moves. This will also be dependent on whether the jib that you're using has a pan and tilt function uh, or just has a mounting platform but we'll look at both. So why use one in the first place? They're most often used as establishers or masters, allowing the viewer to become somewhat familiar with the setting and helping them keep track with what's going on on screen. The two most common moves for showing this is either booming up or booming down. They both say or communicate something slightly different to the audience. Booming down is typically used to demonstrate either a character entering a scene, setting, location, etc or we as the audience entering that setting within the story world as we move down closer to the action. This move is sometimes paired with dollying in at the same time, further reinforcing the idea that we're moving in closer into the character's world. Booming up can say something different to the audience. This is used to reveal an environment, entering the frame on either two or more sides of the frame. It can also give a sense of power to the subject, but only if the camera doesn't boom up higher than your subject, generally speaking. Other shots that can be captured are long takes, shots that combine two or more shot types within the same continuous shot. So what's the incentive of using a camera crane when getting a wide shot on a tripod is so much easier and a fraction of the effort? The introduction to an alternative angle that's not familiar to the point of view of a person and camera movement allows you to say so much more to the audience. Just like people associate 24 frames per second and a 180 degree shutter with the overused term, the cinematic look, it's also associated that the camera crane shot gives a sense of high production value among films. The list of modern films released within the last 30 years that don't feature any crane-like shots or movements is very short. What's your favourite crane shot from a movie? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't done already, and click the bell icon to stay updated with all of my future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.